You're such an asshole. Assholeconsulting.com going international, going global, because well, money's money, to Malaysia. Hey Aaron, my name is Sean. Uh, this is going to be quick and short. I'm a 19-year-old Chinese Malaysian male. I, that right there is a great story. I want to know how you ended up with the name Sean, being of Chinese descent, but you're living in Malaysia. There's a story there that you have to tell. <laughs> it's... That's more interesting than the shit I'm going to spew out right now. I'm just saying, I'm like, oh, because I, I, I had this. I'm like, oh, that's kind of an interesting story. How do you end up there? But all right. I'm a 19-year-old Chinese Malaysian male who is currently pursuing a diploma in IT because of your book, Worthless. I hope to legally migrate to the United States in the future to work and reside there. Question is, how do I achieve this? Reading around the Internet seems very difficult and almost impossible process. I need guidance and an honest opinion. Okay, well, here's, here's the first thing I would do. Every dream I ever had in my life, everything that I thought I wanted, when I got it, it wasn't what I wanted. In other words, the United States is really oversold. I'm not saying it's a bad place. It's just one of the greatest places, and we are the greatest fucking thing that have ever happened to the planet, frankly, truthfully. Um, but that doesn't mean you're going to like it. Like, I thought I would love Italy. I thought, oh, man, fucking Italy, I'm going to... And, uh, yeah, it was a second world, borderline third world shithole. I did not like the fact there was no fucking food. And you know what? You didn't see no food. No, there's no food. Now, I know you tourists go on the boats and you go on the things where they just bring the food to you. But if you drive through Italy like I did, fuck that bullshit. That country fucking sucks. Uh, Switzerland, kind of the same thing. Like, ah, Switzerland, you know, very hoity toity, very nice. Yet, da 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 da, and violins playing, and fucking guys with the Mozart hair. Um, no, not dirty enough for me. I felt like I was violating the people just being there. Um, they're just like a cleaner, purer version of humans. Then, and then, uh, I'm gonna get in trouble. If I spit, you felt like you were in Singapore. If you spit, you like get 30 cane lashings or something. So what I would do first, right off the bat, even if I know it might crimple your finances a bit, come to the United States and visit. Now, don't visit California. Don't go fucking L.A. or the fucking places that everyone, you know, visit Denver, visit Dallas, visit Phoenix, visit, you know, go on a road trip. I don't know what the driving uh rules are, but I, I think in theory you should be, well, you're 19, so you wouldn't be able to rent a car over here. Um, but come here and visit first. And I don't mean like go to our tourist destinations like everybody fucking does when they go to a foreign country. Oh, I want to see the best and the brightest. Well, yeah, then you're going to think you're going to have a really great positive opinion. You're not going to live in Canyonlands National Park. You're not going to live in the Grand Canyon National Park. You're going to live in a town like, you know, Bakersfield. You're going to live in a town like Tacoma. Uh, so what I would do is come to the United States, visit it, and see if you even want to be here. And the problem you're going to face with visiting, visiting is one thing, but you're not, I mean, if you're only here for two weeks, you're not going to get the full culture. You're not going to get the, and, and for you being a 19-year-old male, period, doesn't matter where you're from, you're going to want to find a wife or inevitably have kids or, or you know, there's sex or there's you want the female equation dude the american women are shit they're fucking shit i know whatever problems you might have over in malaysia and you being a a, 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 a genetic or a ethnic foreigner <clears throat> um you might have those problems but my god man if you want to have a family or kids i wouldn't come here <laughs> i wouldn't um and and if you were to come here i'd say Stick with either the ethnic Chinese or the Malay people, uh, which I don't know how much time you've spent between either cultures, uh, because you're just that's just you, which I know is it's a long term goal. Every man, you know, inevitably would like to, in theory, get married, have kids, and if that's your goal, the United States is not for you. Now, all that being said, I'm not saying it's a bad experience. I'm not saying you shouldn't come to the United States. I'm not saying you should come here and work. You absolutely should come here so you get perspective. I don't even say I don't even want to say appreciation for what you have at home, but it's going to give you a different perspective. Like I never thought I'd love Subway sandwiches so much. 
until I went to Europe. And Europe ain't that fucking different than the United States. But then I went there, I'm like, can I get some fucking food? I lost, me and my girlfriend lost 10 pounds each. Because there was no fucking food. We just took it for granted. The highway system, we just took it for granted. There are other things that, that are so ensconced, so embedded upon you based on how you've been brought up in the, the place you've lived that good or bad, we're not talking good or bad, that's you. It's, it's, it's um, hardwired into you uh, that when you come to the United States, they may be, they may be deal breakers. Uh, like, I will never live in Europe. Never. I, I need highways. I don't care how many taxes I gotta pay. I, I, and I like food. I like the fact that 24-7 there's a subway somewhere off on the interstate. I can get a good damn sandwich like this big with real fucking meat and real fucking vegetables. In inter- Europe you can't do that. It's like everyone closes down at 8. Which is my generalistic European accent and impersonation. So <clears throat> I would come to the United States and I would travel multiple times, make multiple visits, <clears throat> whatever your budget can afford, and then see if you even want to come here, all right? Because uh, I know Malaysia, what, what, you, you guys don't have fucking, um, who's the chick, uh, Charlize Theron? You, 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 you saw it in the movies? That's the movies, that's Hollywood, that's bullshit, that's not what it's like. I even, I have a buddy from India, he, he's like, what, it's not like it is in the movie. I'm like, no fucking shit, it ain't like it in the movies. We live here and ain't like it in the movies. So I would visit regular towns. LA's bullshit. New York is bullshit. Yeah, you'll see you'll, you'll see it. Um, but I would go and visit regular towns if you can drive. Drive around the country. That's how you get to know a country is you drive it. You don't take a bus and a tour and like, oh, look at our greatest fucking shit right here in our museums. See if you want to come here. And that's going to take some investment in time. It's going to take some investment in time. Um, and then you may find out this is a moot question. You're like, fuck, you know, I thought I want to get the United States because of this and that. And fucking Google's there and I want to work in IT. And then you find, like, you know what, I, I just like my fucking hut in Malaysia with my yaks. Or whatever the fuck's going on in Malaysia. I don't know. I'm being, I'm, I'm being condescending on, 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 because I'm evil. Um, but you may find out that you just like Malaysia better. Uh, so before you commit the resources and time and effort and money and lawyers and blah, 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 find out if you want to come here first. That's the first thing I would do. All right. If you want to come here legally, unlike the Mexicans who just like, yeah, I'm going to spit out some fucking kids. Uh, but they don't even speak English that much. So fuck it. Estoy el spatato los poquitos. Um, and then like, hey, I'm a dreamer. No, you're a fucking parasite. Okay, so you want to do it the right way. Here's here's your choice, okay? You could go through the legal methods and spend decades in the system applying, working, or you can become an invaluable asset that people, you can get the system to work for you. In other words, what I'm talking about is you need to develop skills where you get an H, uh, HB1 visa, um, and not only that, but they're like, yeah, we need you. We're going to sponsor you for a green card. So you need to skill the fuck up. And that's going to be easier than coming here illegally like the Mexicans. It's going to be better than coming through the process of normally applying. Like, I'll just sit here and wait for three decades. It's going to be easier than like trying to find some chick to marry here. Although if you can do that, you generally fall in love. That's certainly a route you can do. But basically, you want the system to work for you. And how you get the system to work for you is you become invaluable. You got all your certifications. You are an expert at Python. You're an expert at R. You, you have your Microsoft certified. Whatever that particular niche of IT that you're going into, you become indispensable. Now, this might take some time. You got to study online. You can study online. You can do that. You get certified and this and you become the best IT guy. You become the indispensable fucking IT guy. Or you become the brain surgeon. You become the heart surgeon. You become something where the demand, the economic demand basically just pulls you in like, yeah. I mean, like, look, look at the fucking, um, this is an extreme example, but it'll give you an idea. Look at the uh, Major League Baseball uh, in the United States. I don't know. Baseball's a big thing in Malaysia, but it's a sport here. Okay, so big sport. Um, I think half half the the Major League Baseball players 
don't come from the United States. They come from the South, uh, Latin America, Central America, South America, uh, because baseball is huge down there, which is awesome. And we get the best fucking players ever. You think they got problems with their uh, visas and their work visas and their says No, we fucking, like, come on in. We're going to pay you $25 million. Now, you may not be able to hit a ball over a fence with a stick uh, at, what is it, 400 yards or 400 feet or whatever it is. But you want to be the IT equivalent of that. And you can either spend your time talking to lawyers, working up money to pay for lawyers, an immigration lawyer, oh, I'm going to sneak my way in, and you'll never really have citizenship. You'll be like the Mexicans in the United States who aren't Americans, they're Mexicans. Fuck you. Um, or you can have the system working for you saying, we, we need Sean. We need, they're bowing down at your dick and sucking your dick to get you in. And then you have an employer sponsor, we need green card, he's like that. That's the way I would go. So two steps. Uh, both are going to take some time and investment, but that's nothing in life easy uh, doesn't take investment. You're going to have to come here, which is going to be fun, and travel and figure out if you even want to come here. The second thing you're going to do is you got to skill up and, and get whatever certification and, and, and become fluent in the programming languages, or whatever the IT certification demand, uh, world demands, so that you are the indispensable. You are the highly sought after IT guy and every company is banging down your door. And that's gonna take a lot of work and you're gonna to have to do your best and you're gonna to have to get all that certification. And then that way the system is working for you. Then you're not fucking coming in through some fucking coyote sneaking you in on a cargo ship. You're not trying to network with the other Malays here, the Chinese people here. Uh, like, uh, can I work as a, as a bus boy at your restaurant? You're, you're making 150, 200, 250 because you're in California, which is about $45,000 US, you know, the rest of the country. And they're, they're banging at your door working for you. In other words, get the system to work for you. And the way you do that is you become indispensable. You have high level IT skills. And that's how I'd, I'd recommend. So, figure out first if you want to come here. I'm being serious about that. That's probably more important than your IT skills. Come here, travel, visit, figure out. I, there's the TV, and then there's the real world America. And, you know, I brought up here, I'm kind of used to it, so, you know, I've become adapted. Find out if you want to come here first. Then, if you're serious, you do want to come here, you're going to have to skill up and make the system work for you. All right? Don't do the illegal shit. Don't go through fucking lawyers. And, oh, I want to come to the United States. So does fucking everybody else. All right? <laughs> and we're letting everybody in, and the country's going to shit for it. But... If you want to come here, you want to do it, make it so that you not only come here, like they're paying you to come here, but you have a good job, you have a good career. That's another huge thing. Yeah, you can go pick uh, fruit with the rest of the Mexicans if you want, um, but it's probably better that you, uh, you're you paid $150,000 a year because you're, you're a highly skilled IT person. So. All right, hope that helps out. Any of you guys have questions, remember, Asshole Consulting is international because money is global. Uh, go to assholeconsulting.com, send America's older brother, the dark knight of advice columns, uh, the IKEA of consultants, asshole consultants, send us your money, and we'll talk to you kids later. Toodles.